This small presentation is um, on Microsoft Dynamics GP Sales or the processing module. We'll be um, using Microsoft Dynamics GP version 10, as you can see on this screen. Let's open sales transaction entry. Um, and let's come all the way from quotation to invoice. Click on document number, it will be generated automatically. You can supersede it if required. Now let's pick customer ID. Uh, currency, as, as we have multi currency module installed. Now let's pick the item. And um, uh, the quote is ready. Uh, if assuming that we only sell in this processor to the to the custom to the to the uh, customer, uh, and now we can put this into the batch, uh, and then uh, begin negotiation with the customer. You can print out the quote. You can email it. You can mail it, and then you you can retrieve it later on from the sa the same batch or by t from transaction. Now let's assume that um, customer is uh, happy with your quote. Uh, and then uh, customer orders you to uh, deliver the product. Uh, product. Let's do actions, transfer, and then uh, you can either transfer to invoice directly, but in our case, let's assume that we are we come in, we are coming through the whole cycle. We will create sales order, transfer to order, and then include totals. Uh, credit limit for the customer. Uh, we have a password for this. Now the other problem is override shortage because we don't have enough in stock, but we assume that we'll we'll deliver anyway. So override shortage, and then we can print the um, report. One document was transferred, and then it automatically opens the order to the cust uh, to this uh, uh, customer. Um, I mean, if, if, if required, you can um, add additional comments here. Or if it's not enough, you can add the comments to the, um, on, on the, um, um, on, on the document line level. Now negotiation continues, and um, uh, you probably uh, this, uh, you probably um, uh, received something like customer deposit. Let's say um, this would be check. Okay, so I got to enter check number. And um, now we apply deposit toward uh, uh, our sales invoice. As you can see, there is a deposit uh, to this order. And now let's assume that um, uh, product is delivered, customers uh, signed off, and you would like to uh, transfer this to invoice. In, in order, if you actually not delivering something, you can create back orders. Um, let's transfer. Print transfer report. Everything is good. And now you see invoice. Um, invoice. Uh, the uh, the difference between order and invoice from accounting standpoint is that invoice has uh, GL distributions, and when you post invoice, it will. Um, as you see here, it will um, recognize the profit, um, and um, it will be it will be shown on your GL uh, accounts. If you if you need, you can uh, supersede. I mean, you can you can alter the distributions. For example, you can decide that uh, sales should go to different account and do other changes. You can also uh, have commissions. In this case, uh, uh, this guy. Paul W is a salesperson who's supposed to receive commission at $160. Plus, uh, if you like, you can have user-defined fields. Um, one of them, in this case, is tracking number. 
but uh, you can have more. Let's print this um, uh, invoice. Uh, you can actually uh, select up to four uh, forms. In this case, let's pick blank paper form. Okay, dictionary is not found, but that's uh, it. Should it should be printed? Okay, let me print another form here. Um, let's say I'll print one form. Okay, and then. Um, Sorry for this inconvenience. Um, and then finally, you can um, post this invoice. It, it will be seen on your GL books. While posting, you can print uh, several journals uh, to see the success and how it goes to GL. OK. Let me print this. couple of other reports. As you see, it's also the posting, posting journal. Then uh, you see a distribution breakdown register, checkbook posting, multi-currency, we don't have it. Uh, and this uh, uh, preclude. Uh, I mean, this precludes our uh, presentation for today. Thank you for watching. If you have um, additional questions, um, like for example, how to um, integrate the quote from Microsoft CRM, you, you, you feel free to call us or visit our website. albaspectrum.com. Feel free to call us 866-528-0577 or email us help albaspectrum.com. Thanks for watching.